And this year we are starting off our Anchored in Tradition series with News 4 Tucson's Daniel McFarland, who has the recipe for an easy side dish you can make for Thanksgiving or Christmas. During Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's an awesome recipe that my family likes to make. They're called potato slabs and they turn these little potatoes into these. The first step is to set your temperature to 425. The next thing you want to do is get about four to five potatoes, wash them, and then you want to cut them into about half an inch circles. You can also throw away the ends. We're not going to be using these, but make sure to get them right around this size. Those tend to work out best with potato slabs. Now what you want to do is get some foil and put it on a cookie sheet. Now we're going to be rubbing butter on the foil. Now the reason I'm using this instead of cooking spray is because the cooking spray kind of messes with the potatoes just a little bit and I feel like butter works best. So what you want to do is kind of spread it evenly like you're doing icing on a cake and uh, once you get that all done we're going to bring over the potatoes. Now that the butter is done what you do is you get the potatoes and you lay them out. Try not to have them touch or else they're not going to cook evenly. And now that those are laid out, who can forget salt and pepper on these. These are going to cook for about 30 minutes, but what I'm going to do is cook them for about 15 in the oven, and then we're going to come back, flip them, and then put them back in for the remaining time. All you need is just a fork or a spatula to kind of flip these over, and you can see how the bottom part's a little bit more cooked than the top part. And this is why we like to flip them, so one side is not more done than the other side. Now that we got them all flipped, let's go ahead and throw those back into the oven for another 15 minutes. So after the second 15 minute period, you go ahead and take those out, make sure they look pretty good, and now it's time to dress them. Start off by putting a little bit of cheese on every single potato. After you do the cheese, it's time for the bacon bits. Lastly, chop up some green onion and start putting those on too. Next thing to do is put those back into the oven and we're just going to kind of keep an eye on these for a couple minutes until the cheese is completely melted. After about two to five minutes, they should be completely ready at this point. Looking pretty good. And there you have potato slabs. Nice and easy and you can serve with any kind of sauce you want. I think a ranch typically goes best. For Anchored in Tradition, Daniel McFarland at News 4 Tucson. Looks pretty tasty. 